guess what you guys it's that time again every month every youtube influencer says i can't believe it's this time again and it's because time flies so fast hi youtube family i'm so glad that you could join me for today's video which is monthly favorites this is probably besides doing the 10 under 10 that i just did this is probably one of my favorite videos ever to watch and ever to film because i get to share with you but then i get to go and watch all kinds of influencers also talking about talk about what they love to do have a couple of fails which i'm going to start off with the first thing is from revolution pro it's an offshoot of makeup revolution and it's the blur stick and i'm sure what they were trying to do is they were I'm trying to get the cap off. They were trying to dupe milk makeup, but this is so stiff and so hard and there is just, I don't like it. There's no way that that would make a good primer or anything else as far as that's concerned. So that sucker's going in the garbage. This one is from Makeup Revolution and this is called the Chilled Palette. Um, and these are kind of cool packaging on them actually. And they're in the tin. They have the cannabis leaf all, leaf all over it. And the colors inside I was so excited about because my husband loves these colors on me. And so when I opened this, when I was in the store, he's like, oh, please get that one and try it. And I did, and I tried to do a look, and I kid you not, these are some of the stiffest, smallest payoff on color I've ever seen. So I couldn't even get a pretty look out of this, no matter what I tried to do. So that one is going as well. Now let me tell you about a palette that I do love. I'm in love with this one called Bye Bye Birdie from ColourPop. And it is what I have on today along with a Juvia's Place one. But the colors in here are so pretty because they're like more muted pinks. The only one in here that I don't like and I don't know why they put these in here is this chunky glitter one but it's not even really it's not even a really glitter I could just dig it out because it's like really nasty flaky things I don't know if you guys can see it it's like fake snow there it goes it's sparkling on me anyway but anyway I would never trust those to go near my eyes because that is some plastic or something in there so I would steer clear of those and I think that ColourPop will eventually get that message but the rest of these in here are just pretty pretty colors and these colors right here these two on on these ends those two right there are like toppers they're not really uh, metallics that you would wear on your eye or anything but pair it up with the color that's next to it or one of these other other colors that are a matte and they make the prettiest little toppers i really have enjoyed using those colors ColourPop does such a good job on their formula you guys it's one of my very favorite formulas ever and this color Scheme just kind of spoke to me. All right, we're going to talk just a little bit of skincare. This is from Pixie, and I got this sent to me by them, and it was in a humongous thing with all different kinds of vitamin C products in there, but their tonic, I have been absolutely loving. The reason is, is because it's light enough that it doesn't create another layer on my skin, so I can use this in the morning as an antioxidant, and I really love it, and it really has seemed to help brighten my complexion. I really enjoy using vitamin C products, and I really enjoy having it in this really thin formula. It's a lot like the Glow Tonic, so if you guys have used their Glycolic Tonic or their Glow Tonic, it's very much along those lines. It does have a little bit of like an orange lemon fragrance. So fragrance bother you, bothers you, that might bother you. But yeah, I've been really enjoying that. The Suki, Sukoyaka Suhada Urea Cream. Now I have introduced you guys to the lotion, but this is the actual cream. And this is saving my skin at night after I do my whole entire routine. And even though I am using the urea lotion as well and the eye cream, what this does is I wake up in the morning and I don't have dry skin. It just kind of creates a lovely barrier over all of the serums and everything that I have put on and it just really helps hydrate. So in the morning, my skin will still feel like it's moisturized and I can touch it like this and it still feels a little bit tacky, which I think is really good because you have that moisture all through the night. And even though we have, we have forced air that comes down from the ceiling towards us, it's not good because that dry air is coming down on top of you. And so this has just been really a lifesaver for me with my super dry skin this winter. I absolutely love it. And I want to mention this tool also to you guys. 
You guys know that since I've lost the 100 pounds, actually I'm a little bit above that. And so since I have lost the weight, I have been really worried about my jowls and the loose skin that is right here on my chin and you know my neck right there and it's just been driving me crazy but i've been using this very very faithfully and when i first got this and i just thought it would be just great for you know bringing the blood to that but area this little tool because it has the germanium stones right stones right there gosh i can't even talk and they're raised up i hopefully you can see how they're raised up just a little bit it goes along and it feels like it's um, breaking up the fascia, which if you have cellulite in your butt like I do or in your legs like I do, the fascia is that knitting that um, knits together and holds together and then the fat goes through those little pockets and shows through those little pockets. And that's what creates cellulite. And if you can break up that fascia a little bit, then you're definitely doing a good thing for your cellulite. And I'm feeling like using this tool on my neck and along right here where I'm getting those little jowls, I definitely can feel the stimulation and the blood supply and it gets a little bit warmer. My skin gets a little bit red and it's also helping to work in some of those serums and stuff that I use at night too. So, so I really wanted to recommend that and tell you guys what a great success I'm having with it and just incorporating it into my nightly routine. Last month, I did put this OGX um, hairspray in my favorites. And I'm going to tell you again how good it is. Now this says it's a hold of four out of five. It also says it's bamboo fiber full big hairspray. This is a really good hairspray. I have sworn by the Kenra 25 for, I probably have worn that for like 15 years. But you guys, this is, this is like this close to how good this is right here. It is a little bit softer. It's not as stiff as the Kenra 25. So it gets like a little bit more of a natural look to the hair, which I do like as well, but it's really great about holding. You and can um, tease your hair, spray this, and then it gives that extra hold and you get a little bit of more body at the roots. And speaking of teasing your hair, which I like to do, I saw this on a, an advertisement on Facebook, I think it was, and I thought it looked really intriguing, just the way that this brush does. So you have one side that is just like very, I don't know, very big plastic um, bristles. And then on the other side, you have the um, bristles down here that are like a regular hairbrush, but you have also the plastic bristles too. Now this side that doesn't have any bristles on it, it's really good for creating body down in places like this, where you wanna create just a little bit of extra body to your hair and then give it a little bit of spray and you're good to go. But the other side is such a good teasing comb. I can't even tell you guys how great this is because it will like really, really get in there and really help your hair tease. Plus it's got the comb part attached to the brush part. So you're getting the extra teasing and I have been really enjoying that. And it's also got a really fine tip on this side, which is great because I can do the little bit of parting that I like to do uneven parting right there on this side so that my hair doesn't look quite as thin. So I really enjoy this brush all together and would definitely recommend it. All right, so I wanna to talk to you about two things that got sent to me through Octoly. So Lancome gifted me this gloss of theirs and I'm trying to figure out what it's called and I can't figure out exactly what it's called because the letters are like minuscule right there, but it's basically their gloss. And this is in a very pretty color, you guys. So it's kind of a cross between a stain and a gloss. And I have been enjoying the heck out of that. It's a little bit brighter than I normally would wear, but even just kind of putting a little bit with another color works so well. And it's not super drying, and that's what I like about it a lot. I don't know so, if I would go repurchase that though, just because it wasn't like super balmy over wonderful product, but it is a good product from them. And it's, then also I got gifted from, uh, through Octoly from YSL, their All Hours Foundation. It is a very pretty foundation, but this color is too light. It goes on very pretty. Uh, the only thing that I will say about it is that I do feel like I see a lot of texture in my skin. It covers really well. It does really well on that plays really good with my primers I don't have a problem with any primers and 
even though I've worn it several days, I just don't really like the texture that shows up after a couple of hours on it. From Morphe is their continuous setting spray. Now, I do think this is a good spray because it puts out such a fine mist, like kind of a hairspray. I do like this a lot and I've been using it. Hopefully you guys saw that. I've been using it because I told you guys that I don't use um, powder underneath my eyes on top of my concealer. I've been using it right there to really get kind of a concentrated effort for the setting spray and it does a good job, but I think it's a little bit overpriced because I feel like I've used it up so quickly. So I don't know you guys, I think that it is a really good product, but I just wish that they would maybe come out with an economical size or something like that. I am going to mention the Sonia Kashuk brush. Again, I put it in one of my brush videos this month, but I'm in love with it. So I had to go in my favorites for the month. Sonia Kashuk large powder brush, very domed, extremely soft. And the bristles aren't super dense in there. So you're not going to lay down a ton of powder. It just seems to be just about the right amount. And I just love it because it's so soft and it's really great at buffing. I have washed this two or three times. No bristles have come out of there. It takes, keeps its form just fine. I love this brush. So I did want to, ha I did have to mention that one again. And then really quickly, I want to mention this trio that they have right now of the Tarte Tartist dual ended eyeliners. And it is, one is in black, one is in brown, and one is in burgundy. And I have the swatches right here. So this one is brown, and then this one is burgundy. You can see that it has a super fine tip for the felt tip liner, the pen part. And then the other side of the coal liner is pretty fine as well. So you can get a pretty fine line out of that. I think this is a great value right now. I have had one of the smaller ones from a kit I got last year or something, and I'm still not through it. And there's lots of juice still in the ink liner part or the felt tip liner part. If you already love Tarte's eyeliners, I think this is a great value. And if you've never tried anything from them before, this might be a great way to, for you to step your toe in there too. All right, next I wanna talk just a second about mascaras. I've had so many of you ask me what mascara I use because you've noticed how long my eyelashes are. And these are the two that I've been using all month long in all of my videos. The Most Wanted Lashes from Milani and then the Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. Those are the two that I've been using. I love them both. The Maybelline has kind of a curved wand to it just like that. And it has more of the plastic bristles on it. And the Milani has pretty much just a straight brush on it. And it has the regular bristles on it, like a, a hairbrush. So I will tell you that both of them do a really good job at lengthening and lifting my eyelashes and keeping them up there. But I think that I like the Milani just a little bit more. It's really hard for me to choose because I've been liking them both. But the Milani does a little bit more volumizing. Now the drawback to the Milani is that about after five weeks of about using it, I was noticing that I was getting really, it was getting clumpy on the brush and I was having to wipe it off a lot before I used it. So I took a mic microfiber cloth and I just cleaned the brush off completely. And then I put a few drops of saline solution down in there and it was just like new again. But you guys, the mascara is not the reason that I have these eyelashes. And I'm gonna get you really close so you can see my eyelashes and see how they almost touch my eyebrows, you guys. I am so proud of those eyelashes because in my whole entire life, I've never had long eyelashes. And I'm gonna sound like a broken record to those of you that have heard this before, but because so many new people have asked me what I use for my eyelashes, I'm going to talk again about my serum. This is an eyelash growth serum from X Lash. You get this off of Amazon, I make, I'll make sure that I link them below. Now when I say them, there are two sizes. This is the double size and then there's a smaller size. The double size usually lasts me about six to nine months, somewhere in there. I'm pretty generous with it. So probably six, seven months for me. If you're pretty, you know, light-handed with it, it might last you nine months. The small one you will always last me about four months. Sometimes I can get five months out of it. Never in my whole life have I ever had people think that I had false lashes on. I have had the most skimpy, sparse little lashes 
and it's driven me crazy over time but i'm not somebody that can wear false eyelashes because of the palsy in my hands i just don't do a good job at it and it makes uh, it's a not not a good thing so this has been a lifesaver for me I've been using it for almost two years now, repurchased it over and over again. You put it on your lash line and they say you only have to do it on your top lash line. I do it on both because I like my bottom lashes to be as nice as my top lashes, but you put it on once a night, you don't have to do it twice a day, so it's not like it's something that's super extra and then you just forget about it but you won't see anything for the first month so for the first three weeks you're going this stuff is not doing anything by week four you're looking at it going do i see longer lashes by week five you're going to go whoa i got lashes and that's what happened to me and it just keeps getting better you guys this has a botanical formula in it that makes your eyelashes get the nutrients they need and it does have also a chemical formula in it that helps with growth just kind of like minoxidil and yes you do have to use this every day if you want to keep them if you stop using them your lashes are going to go back to the way they were before they won't be any worse but they will be the way they were before you started using this so i use minoxidil in my hair every night and i use the x lash it's just something that i do to try and keep all the hair growing where it's supposed to instead of where it's not supposed to i will never be without this product because it is just an absolutely fantastic product and i just i love it and i won't be without it now if you're ready to start gift giving and you're kind of at a loss as what to do but you have a woman on your list and you might know her fragrance or you might know what kind of notes she leans towards i think i'm about to help you out a lot <laughs> the reason i say that is because this is a bottle of my perfume i love juicy couture it is one of my favorite fragrances when you walk into ulta sephora any of those places this bottle right here is the 3.4 ounce and this bottle is going to cost you a hundred dollars 99 dollars to get this bottle of perfume i would never ever in my life spend that on myself right i don't i i don't have that kind of money to be frivolous like that but you guys there is this site that i shop on and it is called fragrancenet.com and you can get this same bottle right here for the today's low price of this is 33 dollars 38 on this website fragrancenet.com they have tons and tons thousands of fragrances so if you know somebody that is has really expensive taste or you want to try something or you want to give a really nice fragrance to your husband or your son your girl whatever from 99 dollars to 33 uh yeah hand that savings right over to me i would be happy to have that so if you guys are doing shopping you don't know what to do you don't know what to get but you have kind of a budget and you want to look like you're giving a really expensive gift this is a really great way to go so that is it for today's favorites, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed what I enjoyed in November. Please tell me in the comment section the things that you've been reaching for the most or the things that have really impressed you. I don't care if they're lifestyle or if they're beauty. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. Give it that thumbs up, please, before you head on out of here. Everyone take care of yourselves and stay warm. It's snowing like crazy where I am. Try to stay indoors, so curl up with a good book or maybe binge Netflix or whatever it is that you like to do. Love you guys all so very much. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye, guys.